once again unboxing out of the red corner, Joe Evel. His opponent across the ring, boxing out of the blue corner, Pate Soko. Back 13 tonight, Tank Promotions, Malcolm Martin with you as always, and it's our first title bout, novice cruiserweight over five two-minute rounds. Joe Evel in the red corner, Pate Soko in the blue, Joe with the black shorts in the red corner, the preliminary white for Pate in the blue, one of five. As I said, our first big title bout of the evening. And both men centre ring, just probing behind the lead hand. And you can already see both men very mobile, good footwork, nice movement, fast hands. Toe to toe, fast pace for a five rounder to start. And just first there, Pate, as Joe came in. Both men bobbing and weaving, you can see using that lead hand as a range finder. And both having their moments to suddenly surge forward and just test the result of the other. Good nip and tuck about this, and again, through the right first pate to land with the left. Double jab and then the right to the body from Joe, bubbling nicely this opening round. Joe pushes forward again, doubles up that jab to throw the right to the body. Circling around, Pate taking centre ring naturally. And again, he leads with the right rather than left and suddenly throws the fast left afterwards. It's off-putting when you're used to an orthodox boxer. You expect that left to come first, not the right. That's under the reply and again doubles up the jab. And for the first time, just a little turn away from Joe there. As Pate put him under pressure, looks for his own big right, steps away from the left hand to reply. Pate steps forward again, doubles up the jab this time, turns the second one into a hook. And as Joe comes in, Pate responds and just backs him up once more, right at the end of the round there. Good work from both, both men, very skillful opening round, not much between them. I'll go with Pate, just a bit more variety and accuracy, but two good boxes in there. Second of five. Round two. Novice cruiserweight belt at stake, and two good men contesting that. Joe again, just caught with that jab, Pate, the timing on that jab's been good, works the right to the body, Joe looks for his own straight right, comes forward again, he throws that double left and then the right looks to go under the elbow, but as he does so, Pate often responds with the left hook over the top, so when Joe throws that right to the body, he is exposed slightly and Pate is exploiting that with his left hand. And again, the double left, straight right from Joe. But Pate comes over the top this time with the right hand himself, looking to retain centre ring. Uppercut left hook combination as Pate looks to put Joe under pressure, and he's got good following here. You can hear them respond as he pushes forward. Jab, and again, that big right to the body from Joe, out of range this time. Pate looks for that left as he comes forward again, retaining centre ring, ducks under the shot from Joe. Throws the left of the body. Straight right again as Joe backs off. Joe looks for that uppercut, the overhand left from Pate, but Joe steps in this time, right to the body from Pate, they're happy to stand toe to toe. 
good technical boxing from both men. Good work to the body. Nice variety in their work. Nice footwork and movement. The skill level when you think this is a novice bout is excellent. Second down. So midway point, round three of five. Third and final round. No, it's not the final round, Tom. It's the title bout. So it's the midway point. Double left there from Pate. Joe looking to fire back, but Pate steps it up. Backs him up with the right once more. Throws the left right. Joe just snaps back, turns his man sweetly, looks to fire back in. Good fast start to the third round there. Looking to work the body, Joe. Pate, nice uppercut on the inside. Said two very skilled men in here at Norris level, remember. That shows well schooling. That shows good camps. Good clubs. Oh, that left as he rolled and throwed and that wild, just a bit white, probably the wildest right from Pate. The rest has been very tight indeed. And he exploits that right that Joe throws to the body with the left over the top. And does so again, looked at that when Joe threw that big right and left. And Joe being punished there for the first looping big punches. And head snapped back with the jab. Steps in again, Pate almost stepped down into that right hand, almost ducked into it, just saw it at the last second. And again comes forward with that straight right to actually land the stiff left. Big looping left and then straight right from Joe. Little feints from both men. Pate steps forward, throws the right, lands it cleanly again, this with no setup, it just shows throws the rear hand and he lands it again he's got a solid chin Joe he's needed it in round three here because that right with no setup has come through and Joe is backed up as Pate stays in the pocket here in round three Time. ladies and gentlemen just been informed that this is actually for the novice cruiserweight title will be contested over five two minute rounds at top three thank you An ultimate round round four next out. Round four. So four or five. It's been a very good, skillful bout here at Tank Promotions. Great matchmaking again for our first title of the evening. Here at the Mecca, great atmosphere. Throws the jab again, coming forward, Pate. Little left hook in reply from Joe. Good cardio, both men. The pace has been excellent for this bout. Stiff jab through the channel again from Patty and lands it once more. Steps in behind it. Joe sees the danger, moves back to the centre of the ring, gives himself space. Throws his own right and left. Pate ducking and diving this time. Throws that left over the top of the right, doubles it up. Little bouncing there from Joe, little face, looks to double up the left. Left comes over the top once more from Pate, looks for the right to the body. Joe responds. The pace maintained throughout these opening four rounds. Pate steps in, Joe, nice little turn, steps off that centre line. Look to create space to work. Left and right's pushing forward again. Joe Pate throws that right without setup, throws that left over the top straight afterwards. Staying in the pocket, the jab lands cleanly once more. Pate stays in the pocket with Joe, always pushing forward, looking to back his opponent. Well, he's subtly controlled centre ring, the young man in the blue corner. Just misses with that right, Joe nice stepping off the line once more, good defensively. Looks for his own uppercut, both just out of range this time. Pate steps in, works to the body, ducks under the, the two reply shots, they touch gloves, 
just one round away from the finish now. I've got Pale ahead on my card, but it's been a good, entertaining bout. Four down, just one to go. Seconds and here we go, fifth and final. Fifth and final round. Pate stepping in. Joe circling once more, but the jab lands. Treble jab and the right to the body from Joe. Pate throws the jab once more. Looks to step in behind it, looks to push Joe back. Joe realises, turns it around. Starts to throw his own heavy shots. No let up in the pace here. Frantic start to round five as they stand toe to toe. Body and head shots from Pate. Looking to back Joe up once more. Joe throws the jab, immediately responded from Pate. Throws the jab again, moves his head. Looks to come in with the right to the body. Pate looks to come over the top of it with that left hook. Throws to the body once more and lands with the third punch, the jab to the face and Joe suddenly backing up. Pate rolling the shoulders. Joe big right to the body. Looks to push clear and throw the left again. Pate lands with the jab once more. Steps away from the right hand, throws his own right, lands it, throws the left, suddenly backs Joe up again. The left hand lands cleanly and the reply misses from Joe and he's stung with the right. Pate looking to finish strongly here in the fifth. Pate steps in, misses with the booming right, but lands cleanly with the left. What a jaw from Joe, you didn't even think that landed. That was solid and he took that and he's taken another big left as he's backed up in the corner. Our referee looking closely there, he'll break them. Two solid lefts and Joe took them without complaint. What a tough customer. Looks quickly to his corner. Pate moves in again, looking to keep this pressure on. Joe fires back the left and right, little short punches to the gloves. There you have it. Excellent contest. Our first five rounder goes the distance and it's a quality contest. I've got Pate taking the novice title belt, but it was a good, fair, even contest. Okay, ladies and gents, let's have both boxers to the centre. Here we of go. The I've gone blue corner over the five. Sportsmanship there at the end. After five rounds of championship boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. We do have a winner. And your new novice cruiserweight champion is Patez. Yes, yeah, Soko takes it in the blue corner, and rightly so. Excellent bout, but a great Jets. performance. Thank you. The Hit Tank promotions. That was a tough, tough fight. They freed them tough and fesses. But we got championship bout here. How are you feeling? Feeling great. Um, I put in the work for this, so I'm proud of it. And uh, yeah, hopefully you'll see me next time. Thank you. How's it been going with the West Oxford? Yeah, they're really good. Thank you. Any messages to the people who come to you? Uh, thank you for coming, uh, and I'll see you all soon. Thank okay. you. God bless. Is that we got about? Are we going to be defending it? Uh, hopefully, yeah. Maybe. Will you see? Uh, wasn't you scheduled to fight against Chowder? Yeah, I was, but I didn't make weight, so hopefully next time I'll make weight. Hopefully it's a possible match again for the future. Yeah, no, you'll see it. Congratulations, you've been here today, Vardam. Appreciate it.